knocked down. You know, in Acts 9, Saul was on his way to Damascus to capture those that were following the way. He was to bring them back to Jerusalem for punishment when he got knocked down. Acts 9 records it this way. Suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him and he fell to the ground and heard the voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus who you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city. You will be told what you must do. For three days he was blind and did not eat or drink anything. Then Ananias went to the house and entered it. Placing his hands on Saul, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord has sent me so that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and he could see again. He got up and was baptized. We've all been knocked down to some degree over these last number of months. It may be due to a job loss, family stress, loss of a loved one, or a, the cancellation of an event that you were looking forward to. Your business or industry may be under stress due to the shutdowns of the economy. And as an extrovert, you may be dying a slow death uh, due to these isolation in place orders. You may not have been blinded as Saul was, but you may certainly feel blindsided. The question is, have you had an Ananias moment during these times? Some 20 years after Paul's conversion, he wrote to the Romans and said, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. My eyes have been opened to how much I have conformed to this world. But with travel schedules, kids' activities, and general busyness being scaled back significantly, I've had the opportunity to recalibrate life to right priorities, to better priorities, like daily time with the Lord in prayer and scripture, time in the home with family, eating meals together, and relating better as husband and wife, father, son, and father, daughter. God's will is for loving relationships to be grounded in Him, especially in marriage and family. I pray that you experience an Ananias moment that allows you to recalibrate life to better priorities, to open your eyes to see beyond where the pattern of this world had you just a few months ago. May the Lord renew your mind as the dad you're called to be. And that's the dad the next generation needs.